Today we are going to learn chapter 6, that is circular motion. This is the course framework and connective domain for chapter 6. This chapter contains only two subtopics. 6.1 is uniform circular motion and 6.2 is centripetal force. For today's lesson, we are going to focus on subtopic 6.1a, 6.1b and 6.2a. Rest, you will learn in a tutorial class. 6.1 Uniform Circular Motion The learning outcome of this subtopic is to describe uniform circular motion. Okay guys, before we start, can you name me any object which is moved in a circular motion? If you can list one, two, or three objects move in circular motion, it's a quite good. Okay, let's look at an example of circular motion. Example of circular motion is Ferris wheel, satellite, car at a runabout, and a simple pendulum. From this example, we can see that there are three types of circular motion. Circular motion can be categorized into three types. This vertical circle where the motion is at the vertical axis. Horizontal circle motion at the horizontal axis and conical circle. Now, we are going to see in more detail about circular motion. What exactly is meant by circular motion? Circular motion is a motion of any object which is moved along a circular path. For example, we have an object with a string. We rotate the string at the horizontal axis, so the object will experience a circular motion. Guys, how about uniform circular motion? Look at this situation. The object is moving in a circular path through point A, B, C and D. Now, take out your stopwatch. Can you measure the time taken for the object to move from point A to B? Okay, let's say to cover from point A to B, it takes 0.1 second. You will surprise to know that the stone takes the same amount of time to cover from point B to C. Similarly, from point C to D and D to A. From this observation, we can see clearly that the time taken from point A to B, B to C, C to D and D to A is remain constant. So, we can see that the object is moving at the same distance in the same time or in other words, the object is moving at a constant speed. This phenomenon is also known as uniform circular motion. Uniform circular motion can be described as a motion in a circular path at a constant speed. There are two key points about uniform circular motions that you have to remember. The first point is circular path and the second point is constant speed. Now, it's come to the second learning outcome in subtopic 6.1. 6.1b is convert unit between degree, radian and revolution or rotation. Degrees Radian and revolution are three types of unit for measuring angle. For an object move in one complete cycle, it means that the object already makes a one revolution. One revolution is equals to 360 degree and equals to 2 pi radian. By knowing the relationship between degrees, radian and revolution, you can easily calculate whatever you need for angle that you want. I'm going to show you how to convert between degrees and radian. First of all, we have to know the relationship between degree, 
Reagan and Revolution. Let's see one object move a one complete cycle. It means that the object already moved a 360 degree. If we measure in a radian, how many radian is that? Let's see the object start here and make a one complete cycle. So the object is already make a two by radian. One complete cycle is also known as one revolution. One revolution is equal to 360 degree and equivalent to two by radian. For example, we want to convert 45 degree to radian. So the step is 45 degree is equal to 45 by 2 pi radian divided by 360 degree. We can cancel the degree here and just calculate. So the answer is 0 0.25 radian. Now we are going to convert 2 pi over 3 radian to degree. And the step is 2 pi over 2 radian is equal to 2 pi radian over 3 times 360 degree over 2 pi radian. So we can cancel the radian here by and just calculate. So the answer is 240 degree. The last subtopic in this chapter is 6.2 Centripetal Force. The learning outcome for subtopic 6.2a is define centripetal acceleration. Guys, I have one question for you. How can an object accelerate if it is moving with constant speed? The answer is yes, it is possible. Acceleration is a change in velocity, either in its magnitude or in its direction, or both. In uniform circular motion, the directions of the object change continuously. So, the velocity change at every instant. Whenever the velocity is changing, object will experience an acceleration. This acceleration is also known as centripetal acceleration. Direction of centripetal acceleration is always directed towards the center of the circle and perpendicular to the linear or tangential velocity. Centripetal acceleration is a vector quantity. It has a magnitude. The magnitude of centripetal acceleration is equal to the square of the speed divided by the radius. So, centripetal acceleration can be defined as acceleration of an object moving in circular path whose direction is towards the center of the circular path and the magnitude is equal to the square of the speed divided by the radius. This is demonstration video. In this demonstration, I have a turntable. The turntable can rotate in a circle at x axis. At both end of this turntable are two upside down glass jars. These glass jars are filled with water. Inside the water is an orange object. The object is light by stream in the lid of the jar. The object is floating within the water. What I'm going to do is to spin this turntable. So, 
what will happen? The jump, water, string and the object begin to move in a circle. We already know that object moving in circle will experience an inward acceleration. Directions of the acceleration giving us the evidence of the big idea in physics. That is, the object that moves in a circle will experience an inward acceleration or the direction is always toward the center of circular path. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. Can you see it? The object moves towards the center of the circle. The movement of the object given us the evidence of the existence of centripetal acceleration and also show us the evidence of the directions of centripetal acceleration, which is always inwards or always toward the center of the circular path. Okay, thank you for watching.